Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode of Northwest Craftsman. Today's episode is brought to you by a question that was recently asked on the channel about how to adjust the DeWalt miter saw. So whether or not you're taking this out of the box for the first time or you're trying to do a regular tune-up on it, these are the steps that you're going to follow to make sure that all of your angles both on the bevel and on the regular miter are hitting everything exactly the way that they're supposed to. All right, let's go. So first and arguably the most important step is to unplug your miter saw from the wall. You're also going to need a couple of tools including a digital angle guide or a machina square and a carpenter square. The first step is to check your table, fence, and blade to make sure that all of them are flat. To do this, first lift up on the saw head and then make sure that each one of those surfaces is flat by using the long 24 inch carpenter square. Specifically what I'm looking for here is to make sure that there is an even gap all the way across. You'll notice that there's a little bit of light that comes underneath, but not much, and it doesn't bow off on one side where you get one large gap on one side or the other. I was not quite as particular about the upper portion of the fence because that is not the primary face that I am dataming all of my work pieces off of. By checking both sides of your fence at the same time with a large enough carpenter square, you not only make sure that they are flat, but you also make sure that both sides are coplanar with each other. Here is a close-up of me checking the lower portion of the fence. Notice when I put the carpenter square up to it, there are no gaps and it is even all the way across. If any of these aren't right, get them fixed before starting the next steps. First we're going to check the miter angle, which is the cut made when the saw rotates around its center vertical axis. For a centered cut, we want to make sure that the blade is lined up perpendicular to the fence. When you slide your carpenter square up against the blade, it should be flush with no gaps. Make sure to check both sides. In my case, the blade was square, but if yours is not, you can undo these four screws right here, and then while it is locked into the zero degree position, gently tap it on either side until your carpenter square is flush with the blade on both sides. If you still have it, DeWalt included an Allen key that fits these bolts. Next, we're going to adjust the bevel angle. If you have a digital gauge, zero it out on your tabletop. Next, we're gonna check the 90 degree bevel before we start any other adjustments. Move it from the tabletop to your blade, and then check to see what the angle is. You can also do this manually with your machina square, though I would argue that it is less accurate because there is not a lot of surface to be matching on the blade. As you can see here when you look nice and close, there is a very small gap, but it's really hard to tell if there's any from top to bottom, which is what you are concerned about. To try and get a longer measurement surface, I pulled out my speed square, though it is plastic and is not necessarily the most accurate, but gives a pretty good idea that I should be spot on, which does match my digital angle gauge. Use whatever you're comfortable with. If you find that you are off, use the same Allen key to adjust this screw, which will change the stopping point for the 90 degree bevel. Do note that a small turn goes a long ways. Next up, we're going to do the 45 degree checks. To do this, loosen up the chuck in the back and then pull the pin so that you can actually rotate the saw head. Rotate it over to one side or the other. It doesn't matter right now because we're going to check both sides. Do note that if this is coming straight out of the box, you will likely need to move these fences out of the way, otherwise your blade will contact the upper fence like you see here. If you're taking a manual measurement, move your machina square up to the face. This measurement isn't quite as bad because you've got a much larger face to do your measurements on. In this case, it looks like everything is pretty flush. However, I'm going to use my digital gauge just to make sure. You can see here that the digital gauge is showing me about 1 to 2 tenths out of true. To adjust this, go to the back of the saw and adjust this bolt right here. It changes the stopping point for that 45 degree bevel. You'll use the same Allen key to make this adjustment, and a little bit goes a long ways, but with a little bit of an adjustment, I'm at exactly 45 degrees. Rotate the saw head over to the other side until you hit the other 45 degree stop. You will have to pull out the bolt one more time because of the way that that mechanism works in the back, but once it is over there, you'll be ready to follow the exact same process we did on the first side. Once done with both of the 45 degree angles, bring it back up to 90 and make sure that everything stayed true. In this case, nothing changed. Well guys, that's it. Adjusting your miter saw really is that simple. And I wanted to remind you guys that this video was brought to you by somebody who was watching a previous video and had a question about whether or not this was content that I already had. Go ahead and check out the channel. You can see all the content that we already have. And if you're not seeing something that you're interested in, go ahead and put it in the comment section or contact me in the contact section of the channel. And I would love to see if we can't get a video on that. I may not be able to get to all of the suggestions, but I can definitely get to some of them. And I love to do those kinds of videos because it means I'm making content that is relevant to you. 
the viewer because you're the most important part of this channel. So thank you guys very much. I really appreciate it. And I just enjoy having this community. If you like the kind of videos that we're producing here at Northwest Craftsman, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel to see more of these videos in the future. And uh, yeah, thank you guys tons. I really appreciate it. And I'll see you next time. Happy woodworking. Bye.